How's it going guys? So in this video, um, I want to show you guys how to change the or add system memory to a Dell all-in-one PC workstation. Now over here on the screen, you can see I'm using CPU Z to find out if I have additional memory slots to add the memory, which I have. The slot two is empty and slot one indicates it's a DDR5 memory. So go on Amazon and buy the DDR5 memory, uh, specifically for your Dell workstation. If you have an older workstation, you might have a DDR4, so it really depends on which kind of memory you need. Um, I'm showing you this, this is a DDR5 that I bought from Amazon. And over here, I'm just showing you what the memory stick looks like up close. So the next thing you want to do is flip over your all-in-one machine you want to unplug all the cables and wires. Um, try to remember where you had those wires uh, connected to, or even better, take a picture, okay? And uh, pull all the wires out because you need to take the PC and lay it flat. Um, this button that I'm showing you, you press it and you can literally just uh, hold the monitor and take the whole um, assembly out of the stand on the back. I'm struggling because I'm using one hand, so I'm going to try to use two hands to take the, uh, the monitor out. Now with the monitor out, it's very easy to take the back panel open. So this little tab, you just click it and uh, it literally just pops out and you slide up from the monitor, which exposes the memory slot. The memory slot, you can lift it up and it exposes the one empty slot in there for DDR5 memory sticks. Now simply take your newly bought memory stick and plug it in there. Notice the notch position. And once the notch is aligned, you can simply give it a firm push into the slot and then press it down. And it sits there nice and firm. And now you put the cover back on the memory slot cover. And then finally, you put the plastic cover on the back of the monitor. And actually, the entire process is done. That's how easy it is. You just align the slots and push it back in there, okay? Again, using two hands is much, much easier than what I'm showing you here with one hand. Now you just align the monitor on the top of the tab and push it firmly back onto the stand, and you are done. The remaining part is uh, once you secured the monitor back onto the stand is to connect all the cables back to their original position. This might take some time, so um, just uh, do it carefully and slowly. Um, and you should have a working PC with upgraded memory in no time. Over here, you see all the wires are connected properly. And I'm gonna put the monitor back onto my desk and rest it in position and try to turn it on. And the first time you turn it on, it's going to tell you something has changed. It's going to give you some sort of an error message, which is completely normal. Okay, you'll see it very soon. Hopefully it's turned on. All right, try again. All right, now it's on. Let's see what the monitor says. See, so the BIOS is going to tell you the amount of system memory has changed, which means you have succeeded in upgrading the memory. Okay, so you're just going to hit, you're just going to hit continue. And finally, you log back into your system. You open up the CPU Z um, to double check to see if the memory has been successfully installed. You check the SPD and you can see the slot 2 is the new memory that we put in there. And uh, this is how you upgrade system memory on those Dell all-in-one PCs. Super, super easy and simple. And uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Um, the, I'll put the memory purchase link down below um, in my description. And that's pretty much it. Now with plenty of memory, um, your program should run much, much more smoother. All right, thanks again, guys. Take care.